Hey everyone, I am here today to do a wig video on a cheap Amazon wig that I purchased. I have on my head right now a wig I purchased on Amazon for $21.99. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So I purchased this on October 16th. And today as I'm filming it, it is October 22nd. So I turned that around really fast. I've got a ring light as you can see. So that's the picture of the wig. You can see I purchased it on October 16th. And you can see what the price is right there. So this wig is an AISI hair wig. So this is by AISA. And the color of this wig is wine red. It doesn't really have a name. It says AISI hair synthetic curly bob wig with bangs. I'll link it in the description box. But I was really curious about Amazon, cheap Amazon wigs. I've talked about them before. And I thought I would finally put my money where my mouth is and give a couple a try. I was inspired by our wig sister. Her name is Natalie. And she purchased a longer wig that she wants to wear under like winter beanies. And it looked so adorable on her. So I did purchase two longer wigs as well. Stay tuned for those videos. Let me show you what this wig looks like. And then we'll get into the rest of the video, which I have already filmed. I'm just introducing the rest of the video. So let's just take a look at this beautiful wine red cheap Amazon wig. Okay, so I'm not going to talk too much in this part of the video because I've already filmed everything else. I just felt the need to introduce it because the rest of the video is a bit disjointed, filmed in multiple parts. So you can see this color in this bright light up close. It's so red. Just, it's bold, super bold. So as you'll hear in the rest of the video, um, this that I'm wearing today has been just slightly modified. I go through all of that with you. So in the next part of the video you're going to watch, you will see the unboxing, the literal unboxing. The first time I saw it, you'll be seeing it. And then I'll come back after I've gotten it wet and I've scrunched it and hung it upside down because it did have box hair. And I'll show that to you. And then I show you my attempt to thin these bangs a little bit. So these bangs came very heavier than they are and they hung in my eyes. I'm not sure if I'm done with the bangs at this point or not, but I did do a little bit of thinning of them and I also used a hot airbrush on them just to read direct a little bit. I show you all of that in the video so you will see everything about this wig up to this point from start to finish. I also tell you about my impressions and so briefly here I will tell you this is a 20 basically a $20 wig. Don't have high expectations. It's still quite cute. The fibers aren't awesome. They do feel a bit like doll hair. When I do this I can actually hear the fibers moving. Um, I don't think anybody's ever going to notice that. They're going to be noticing the color <laughs> for sure, but they're not going to notice that at all. Um, it is heat friendly, so you can take heat to it. Uh, the fibers feel kind of different than any other heat friendly fibers I've had. Um, I did say in my video that they sort of felt like Bell Trust fibers, maybe a little bit, just more wiggy. I mean, they definitely do feel like wig hair. And other than that, the wefts are super far apart. I do show that in the rest of this video uh, just for a comparison, which means that you're not going to be able to do a ton of styling with this one because you will risk kind of showing those wefts. I don't know if you can see that here or not. I mean, I think you can get creative, but, you know, it's just not as well constructed. It is quite comfortable, though, and I do have a wig grip on because this cap is huge. So if you have a big head, I think you'll be okay. This cap is really huge on me, and so I did have to wear a wig grip with it. You can also see when I was messing with it here, I mean, it's real easy to get into the wefting even up here. Um, so, you know, you just kind of have to set those expectations. And if anything, I think this is a perfect wig to practice some skills on, some hot airbrush skills, some thinning skills, some cutting skills. You could trim length on this for 20 bucks and change. I think that there's a lot. So stick around for the rest of the video. I uh, think it's great. I'm going to hang on to it. I think it'll be fun. I might even wear it on Halloween. I'm going to my sister-in-law's for a little while. It's not really a 
costume wig necessarily. It's just a little bold for me. All right, guys. Stick around for the rest of the video so you can see everything about this wig and all the links to everything I talk about will be in the description. Thanks for watching. I've got two more Amazon videos to film and so stay around for those as well. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey everyone, it has been a while since I filmed a video in my bathroom and I am doing an out of the box here. So I thought I would just do it in my bathroom. It's uh, an Amazon wig unboxing. So I have made three purchases actually of Amazon wigs and this will be one of three videos. So the one I'm unboxing right now is uh, a, an AISI AC hair. It's a synthetic wig and it's in a really fun color. So let me pull it out of the packaging for you guys. Oh wow, it's really, so I haven't even seen these. So it comes in this bag and I will link uh, the wig in the description box below. And then it's in hairnet and you know, like wigs typically come. So it's got a nice hair, wow, look at this color. There's kind of a little bit of static going on here. But you know, it's really cold here. The hairnet will not leave me. <laughs> it's really cold here uh, and our heat's on, so it's probably kind of creating some dry air. You can see, can you see that static? That's the air in the house. Wow, this color is really, really stunning. Look at this color. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is beautiful. Um, I can't remember what they called the color. I don't know if it's on the bag here. It's not on the bag, so I'll have to look. Wow. Okay, so let me take a look at the cap, then I'll put her on. You know, I should probably tell you guys that I am wearing uh, Belle Madame Isabella Mono in the color Dark Copper Rooted. And I've got a video on this one already out on YouTube. Okay, so it's just a basic cap. There's no lace front. It's very minimal. I mean, the wefting is super far apart. So on, um, a little, on more expensive wigs, you know, the name brands, the wefting tends to be a lot closer together. And then it's got two combs in the front that you can use if you wanted to secure it. Um, you know, I, I don't know. If I would have to wear a wig grip with this, that could be a good thing to tuck it under the wig grip, um, but I don't typically wear wig grips. It does have ear tabs and it does have a metal stay in it. They're not soft material. The back is not an extended nape and it does have hook adjusters. All right, the hair feels really nice. It says it's heat friendly. So this is heat friendly and the fibers feel really nice. They remind me a little bit, a little bit of Bell Tress fibers, more so than Raquel Welch. Um, you know, both of those have heat for a lot of heat friendly styles and they don't feel the same. So, all right guys, I'm gonna put her on. Let me get this hook in here though. All right, let's see what we got. I'm gonna just kind of give her a nice little, a gentle shake. So these I bought on Prime and they do have free returns. So I'm not gonna really mess with her too much. You know what, I should probably, I should probably put a wig cap on since I might, you know, I don't know how this is gonna look. Uh, and so if I have to return, I definitely don't wanna, I want it to be on the up and up. Let me get this wig cap out. Oh my gosh, I can't even get the packaging open. Should I pause the video so you guys don't have to sit here and wait for me to get this wig cap on? All right. I got it. Maybe I'll work on my fast forwarding skills. Okay. I don't do wig caps very often or ever. I want to make sure that I can return this if it's not good. Even if it's just a little bit good, I'm, I'm going to hang on to it because then maybe I can mess with it. 
All right, guys, here we go. Generous size cap, it fits really well. Definitely room. <laughs> okay, you guys, so first off, uh, I gotta pull this up off. First impression, box hair. And this is what I talk about in a lot of my videos. Box hair is very common, even in the high-end wigs. So I am not concerned at all about the way she looks right now. This is typical box hair. She's very flat. Bangs are really smushed. This is gonna wake up for sure. Wow, you guys, she's actually really cute. I think she's gonna be really cute, especially once I get rid of the box hair. I think she's super cute, you guys. I'm going to get her wet. I'm keeping her. I'm going to get her wet. I'm going to, you know, shake her out. I'm going to hang her upside down. I'm going to do a little bit of scrunching. I just need to wake this up, the fibers up. She really doesn't have, perm there's no permatease. This, she's so flat. You guys, really flat to the head. This cap is super comfortable, like really comfortable. Wow. I'm actually super impressed. I think I paid $17 and change for this wig. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to mess with her and get try to get rid of this box hair, and then we'll see what we have. Hang tight. We're back. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I am, like, over the moon. This is the cutest, cutest, cutest wig ever. All right, so as you saw in the other video, I had some box hair. And all I did was soak her. I did soak her though. I put her in a sink full of water with nothing else and I just soaked her in the water. And then I shook her out very vigorously in my shower upside down. I scrunched up the curls, the waves, like this when it was wet. And then I just hung it upside down. So she's been hanging upside down. It's been a few days since I filmed that other video. And I debated about going into the other room where I'm doing all my new videos because my son moved out uh, to college, but I thought I'll just finish this in here because I do need to do some tweaking and I want to show that. But I want you to see how unbelievably cute this is. I mean, seriously, $17 and change on Prime. It's like... I can't even believe it. Couple things I've noticed. It is a cheaper wig. I mean, for sure, the fibers don't feel as good as the higher end wigs. So, so there is, it, the, the fibers just don't feel as good. I don't think they look bad at all. I think it's more, you know, to the touch. I have also noticed, if you noticed in the other video, there was a um, static. And I thought it was a lot to do with my inside air with the heat on. I haven't had that with some of my other wigs that I've been wearing over the last few days. And I did notice that one about this one just now. It's just got a lot more kind of static. Um, and so, again, I think it's just cheaper fibers. John Renault Peace Out Cream, which I haven't used. I actually just put a little bit of water on it. But you can take some Peace Out Cream and you can just kind of coat those fibers a little bit. And I'm sure that will help. Uh, a little bit of wig hairspray. Um, water could be okay as well. So I think you've got some options um, to dealing with that as well as just it will help you style. And where's my towel? Um, so what have I noticed? First of all, I have noticed these bangs are super, super heavy. They're really heavy and I've had to sort of pull it back off my face. So I'm going to do some, I'm going to just take a little bit of a thinning shears or kind of this thinning comb, which I can link in the description box. And I'm just going to kind of thin these out just a little bit. And I'll show that to you in a second. I actually started and then I thought, wait a minute, I shouldn't be doing that. I should be showing the video first. So I trimmed off already about that much, just off of right here. So I'm going to show you what I did because uh, it was sort of a lot heavier right there. Um, something else I've noticed, very flat. There's no permatease in this. 
um, which I think she looks really cute, but if you wanted some more lift, that's going to be tough to get. You might be able to do that with steam. I don't know. Um, very flat. Uh, you know, it just, it, it does feel a little bit like a wig. So I just, you know, to be honest with you, I think it looks super cute and it's super fun. But it's not as nice as some other wigs. And I want to show you my comment. And I do have a wig grip on right now, which I never wear, um, really. But I have it on because it will help me keep this in place when I'm trying to thin it. Uh, thin the bangs a little bit. But I just want to show you um, what I mean in the first video by the wefting being more far apart. So here's this wig. And you can see that wefting. Here's my Belle Madame Isabella. Look at how much closer that wefting is together. And this is typical. Aesthetica will look this way. John Renault will look this way. And then you've got just a lot further apart wefting. That can make it so that, that you'll, you might be able to see the wefting a little bit better in certain circumstances. If the hair splits, you might be able to see that wefting. Um, the hair is just not sewn as closely together, so it might not lay quite the same. Um, I think it does make the cap feel a little bit lighter. And maybe it could feel a little bit cooler, but that is just one of the shortcuts, you know, less wefting, less material. This isn't an expensive wig. Something else I've noticed, these adjusters will not stay in. And so that's an easy fix and it happens with high-end wigs as well that have the hook adjusters. I've had that problem with other wigs. It's real easy to fix. All you do is once you get your hook adjuster in where you want it, just put a little stitch there. Kind of stitch it around with just a needle and thread. If you can sew a button on, you can do this. Really, you can. I cannot sew, and I could do that if I really cared that much. Um, these run big. They do. This uh, really fits. I have to cinch it in quite a ways. I'm 22 inch circumference, and it still feels really loose on me. So this might be a wig where I would wear a wig grip, actually, if I were to wear it, because it really does run big. So those are some of the main impressions that I got. Um, it's a lot more comfortable with the wig grip, which is, I never say that, um, just because of how big it is, but you can notice it just kind of gets staticky when I put it on. So once I get it adjusted, it's fine. Um, so it's really just a matter of kind of getting it adjusted, you know, setting your expectations. If you're going to pay less than $20 for a wig, I don't think you can have super high expectations. So, you know, would this be a daily driver? I don't know. Um, you know how it depends on how you take care of it and, and what you have it and what you expect from your wigs but i think it's super cute well worth the twenty dollars in my opinion especially because the, for me this is more of a fashion wig like if i really want a bold color um that's when i'd wear it i don't see myself wearing this every day but other than that i think it was money well well spent so hang around if you want to see how i'm going to do with these bangs and let me know if you guys have questions. Otherwise, I think it's super cute. This wine color is so great. I'm not gonna get outside with it because we've had just terrible weather. It's been it's snowing, sleeting today, and I really wanna get this video done. And so I don't think, if you're looking at this wig and thinking about buying it, I really don't think that seeing this color outside is gonna make or break it for you for 20 bucks, so. Let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, it's comfortable. Oh, and it doesn't shed. It's not shedding. Um, one of the other Amazon wigs I got, shedding terrible. So you'll see that in that video. This one has not shed at all. It's a winner. If there is any part of you that think this, thinks this is cute and you've got 20 bucks to spare, I would buy it without hesitation. It's really good. All right, guys, I'm going to try to mess around with these bangs, but I'm going to stop this for a second and then I'll come back and do that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. All right, guys, it's in videos like this where you realize I'm not a professional because <laughs> I feel like I've been so scattered all over the place on this particular video. Uh, so uh, hopefully you're getting what you need out of it if you're here watching it. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. It's this little razor comb. I also do have 
thinning shears, the kind with the teeth, and just regular scissors. And I really think you should have a variety of styling tools available to you um, with wigs, especially if you're going to delve into cheap Amazon wigs because you may need to do something to them to make them wearable. So in this case, and I'm not really sure ultimately how much I'm gonna have to do here. There is a piece here too that is laying funny and I may have to incorporate that in. I am not a hairstylist. I need to say that out loud. I am figuring this out as I go and I'm just grateful that this wig was only less than 20 bucks. All right, so then what do I do with this? I just kind of take it, I take this and I kind of comb down the fiber at an angle, sorry, like this. And then with that, I take some hair and it's kind of thinning it down the fiber as opposed to giving it a blunt cut. And that's the look I'm going for because these are pretty heavy. And then once I sort of get the top layer done, and you kind of got to go at a certain angle to make sure that you actually get it, you can't go straight on, then I'm going to have to deal with this part that's in my eyes. Another thing I'm noticing is it, it lays kind of funny on this top layer, and I think a hot airbrush will, will help that. So I may have to go and look into um, using my hot airbrush on this, which I haven't done a lot with wigs. Because I kind of want to redirect like this fiber right here. So I want to be careful as I'm doing this that I'm not thinning something that I'm eventually going to want to go a different direction. All right, so I've got this issue right down here that I really feel like I have to deal with. So I know one of the things, and I'm trying to take these top layers to the side. One of the things that I have seen a lot, there's lots of videos out there about how to do a dirty bang, and they show you twisting it once and then cutting it. So I think that's what I'm gonna to try to do here. Again, this is a cheap Amazon wig. No better thing to practice with, right? So twist it once, and now I'm just gonna take a quick cut. I'm looking in the mirror so I don't lose what I'm doing. Okay, so just a tiny, the tiniest amount. I'm just dropping it in my sink and I'll clean out my sink with a paper towel. All right, so that's a little bit better. It's still a little bit long. And again, I think if I use my hot airbrush, it's gonna help quite a bit. So now I've got my thinning shears because I'm really afraid to get a blunt cut in here. So now I'm just gonna kind of take it and do some like, like that, thinning on the ends. And you just keep messing with it. You just kind of do it and you mess with it. And when you think you're almost done, maybe you stop so that you don't overdo it. I think I got some fibers in my eyes because I was trying to look and cut at the same time. Cause you don't want to cut your bangs too much and I could pull this back on my head a little bit but I tried that and it looked funny it looked like the bangs were starting way too far up because I'm using the scissors here I'm moving very slow closing my eyes I don't want to cut my eye I'm just trying to get there, it's not hanging in my eyes quite as bad. See, I think that's better. It feels a little less heavy. It's not hanging in my eyes as bad as it was. And what I have found with bangs like this, you're somewhat feels like you're never done. Cause Fibers will start to shift around and then suddenly you'll have a fiber in your eye 
that wasn't in your eye before. And so you just keep on tweaking it. I'm just gonna grab my makeup brush to try to get some of these fibers off my nose. All right, that's what I got so far. So now I'm gonna grab my hot airbrush and I'm gonna see if I can redirect a few of these fibers. Hold on. All right, I'm back and I've got my hot airbrush. So what this is, is it's just a Hot Tools hot airbrush. They're, they're pretty cheap. You can get them on Amazon. I think you can get them at Walmart. I'll link one just so that you can see what this is. And they kind of feel cheap. They're light, they're plasticky, they're all plastic. There's no metal on here. So you actually can use this on regular synthetic wigs if you want to. It never gets hot enough for you to really worry about damaging the wig. This is a heat friendly wig. Um, so I could use a curling iron on it. I want to be careful because I don't want to ruin these waves. So I'm going to put a little bit of water, just a spray bottle of water on the bangs so that I get them just a little bit wet. And now I'm just going to try to redirect the fibers. I kind of want, I'm just kind of see what I want. I just kind of want them to go more to the side than down to the front. So let me see what I'm doing here. I have to be real careful because it wants to catch the rest of that hair. I want to show you something. See how well you can see the wefts here? That is a product of this being a cheap wig. You can really see those wefts when I try to move these fibers too much. So I can't really get a lot of lift out of these or, or redirect these too much because you'll be able to see the wefts. So it's really just trying to move them slightly just so that they lay a little bit better for me on the top here. Now I'm putting a little piece out cream in I also noticed there's some really short hairs underneath here. I didn't do that. So again, it's a less than $20 wig. So have those reasonable expectations. Know what you're working with. And then Kind of, I'm gonna grab a towel here. All right, finishing touch. I'm just gonna put a little bit of hairspray in. And that one's not working very well. So let me grab a different hairspray. I have so many. got my, and I don't use hairspray very much, so sometimes they dry up and they don't work very well. This one's just my Belmadam hairspray. I just love Belmadam products so much. One of the reasons I'm doing this is because of the static issue with this wig. I just wanna make sure that I've coated the fibers to kinda of take care of that static. I don't use hairspray a lot on wigs. because I feel like then they need to be washed more often. All right. I think the front looks a lot better. It's laying a lot better. It's not in my eyes. 
So this was my cheap Amazon wig number one. Look in the description for the details of the color and I'll link it and I'll share the products that I used. Hopefully it's given you a little bit of inspiration for delving into some of those cheaper budget friendly, more budget friendly wigs or just a, a wig for fun. Let me know if you guys have questions. Stay tuned for my other two videos which will be out soon.